Welcome everyone, today we have the latest patch notes for patch 2.4. So this just came out about 4 minutes ago, so let's have a look at the patch notes and let's have a look at what are the freebies we can get. So that's usually our focus of the patch notes. So this patch notes is posted on the 31st, and over here we can see the maintenance will start at 6am China time. So what I'll do is, I'll have a countdown timer for you guys once the patch is available, and the countdown timer will tell you when the patch starts and when the patch maintenance finishes. As usual, we'll be getting 300 promo gems for the maintenance and 300 promo gems for the bug fix. So that's the 600 standard promo gems. Now for this particular update, there will be two new characters, one 5 star, one 4 star. The 5 star will be a choir character, po arm character with Shenhe, and the 4 star character will be the geo character, Yu Jing, which is a supporting normal attack character. Now there will be a new area, which is the underground palace. And this seems to be a lot of exploration and also quests and also achievements available for this one. Now coming to the most important highlights, the new events. May Fortune Find You will start on the 25th of January. It is likely this will happen, I think, on the second part of the patch. So you might not get the free 10 wishes on the first part of the banners. So the banner that will be available for this one is likely going to be Ganyu and also Zhongli. Now there will be 10 free wishes upon the seventh day. Now, why do I say there's 13 free wishes? It's because if you guys notice over here, we have a new 4-star character. And if you get this 4-star character to level 70 and ascend her, you can get 3 free wishes. Now, how do you get this 4-star character, you might be asking? I'll be making a video to talk about this as well. So, if you pick her as your selected 4-star, you are guaranteed to have her and guarantee the 3 free wishes. Although the three free wishes, <laughs> it's a tongue twister, those are the acquaintance fate and those are the intertwin fate. So three acquaintance fate can be obtained by getting this new character. And because it's a selective four star, it's kind of guaranteed if you're going for her. And over here, we have the 10 free wishes. I think those are the biggest highlights and also the 600 free primal gems for logging into the game. Now coming over here, there seems to be some interesting things over here. Let's keep going. So there's are uh, some left and right gift logging for Frederism, Intertwine Fate, and other rewards. So notice that there is a lot more free wishes than what we expected, because this is my fortune find you. That's 10 free wishes. And here there is more wishes for the left and right gift. So let's have a look at the Latin right gift. So there's one, two, three. Oh, there's three more free wishes. So it's 10 plus three plus three. So we get 13 of the intertwin fate plus three of the acquaintance fate from the new character. So there's 16 free wishes in total. I knew it, guys. No bad, no bad right? So there's a lot of good freebies to be obtained. Now, the Grand's outfit will also be free to be given to the players. Now, the Kaching outfit has to be purchased. So that is the difference. Now there seems to be, oh, this is another one of those events. Um, not much highlight. Right? <laughs> we'll look into the event gifts as well. So the next part is there's a new weapon. New, new weapon is going to be a five star poem. I haven't looked into the weapon yet. It should be interesting. Quite interested on it, but I don't know if I wish for it though. I don't have a five star poem. But, you know, building a shell and building the poem seems to be a little excessive. I will talk about that during the live stream. So we can see over here the new outfits for Kaching and also Neguan. And one of them is free, one of them should be paid by the Genesis Gems, which you have to purchase. We can make a guide on this, whether it's worth it, and we can look at the pricing, because you don't have to buy right away. We'll have a look at the animations and how beautiful she looks as well. Now, keep going. We can see there are some of the new Archon Quest. Now, if you guys keep in mind, the new Archon Quest usually give free Primal Gems, and this ranges from 60, 120, or over 180. There will also be new hangouts, which will give us 60 Primal Gems at least for each of those. So that's 120 more Primal Gems. <laughs> I'll do a count for you guys of the total Primal Gems as well. In new World Quest, there's 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 new World Quests, if they give 40 Primal Gems each, that's 160. Sometimes they don't give Primal Gems, sometimes they do. What's interesting is there's 11 new Commission Quests. So if we to get 10 Primal Gems, I mean 10 bonus Achievement Primal Gems from those 11 you know, commissions, we can get another 100-ish Primal Gems. I'm trying to estimate the Primal Gems we can get, but the commissions, notice there's a lot of those. We can look into that, and also achievements associated, associated to them. <laughs> Losing my wordings. Now, there's a bunch of new enemies, and one of the biggest highlights for this Primal Bessemel Vasep is, oh, those are twin Vaseps. So th for those Vaseps, I do believe they give the level up materials for the new character Shenhe. 
So if you're planning to get a new characters or upcoming characters, you might have to fight this boss in the new dungeons on the underground palace. Now I'll keep going. There seems to be a new Abyss Lecter, which ignores shield. <laughs> be aware of this. So this Abyss Lecter, if the pile damage hits you, it will ignore shield. There's a few other monsters to be added. Uh, new additions, there are a few new recipes. We can look into that. There's new achievements. Yeah, those are the ones we want to look at. So the Light of the Day, Wonders of the World, and Memory of Heart. And usually this comes about one to 200 bonus primal gems, which is not bad. New name card, new furniture, new features in the teapot set. So those are not bad. And let's see, so those are additional adjustments. New wildlife. So if you guys are going for the special Pokemon catching, you can catch this deep sea Oneki, which is catchable. <laughs> Notice how this is highlighted. The floating ray is not catchable. There are two new features, Div Devour Ray and also Famalo Ray, <laughs> can't pronounce. Oh, the Secretary favor has been increased to 50. After the increase of Secretary, maximum extra sigils. So with the Secretary increase, I believe we can get... Uh, let me have a look. I'm <laughs> trying to type. <laughs> I want to have a look at the 50. What do we get at 50? So, oh gosh. So here we go, here we go. Mm. <laughs> I was like, huh? So, up to 50. And let's see. I think we can get a bit, right? Yeah, yeah. We can get at least... We can get four more fates. So if we count the Sakura tree, you get two more of the Intuitive Fate and two more of the Aquintum Fate, I believe. Um, did I count this correctly? <laughs> we'll, we'll, dis we'll discuss this later. So now it's about 15 Intuitive Fate and five Aquintum Fate. Not bad. So this is a pretty big highlight with the sacred tree of increase to level 50. Now let's keep going. New boxes. There's a lot of optimizations, which we have heard. So after completing the special side quest up here. Oh, so those are just updates. Now there are some of the changes to the spire abuse, which will target towards the characters that are newly added to the game, right? So this is a bonus to physical resistance. Okay. And when I made text, so when we deal normal damage, they will lose. Th so when we, when enemies take normal damage attacks, they will lose three percent physical and all element resistance up to thirty percent. So you're minus an enemy's armor by normal attacking enemies. That's not bad. So this is for floor twelve, which benefits characters that normal attacks like Shell, of course, <laughs> and also Shinher. <laughs> so now the phases for the buffs. So the first one is about normal attacking, plunge attack, which increased by 5%, stack up to 15 times. Oh gosh, this is like 75% bonus damage. Next one is, again, attacks that are considered as normal attack, there's 50% chance of releasing shockwave, which deals true damage, which ignores armor. And this happens every 3 0 0.3 seconds. Again, this is for Shao and also normal attackers like Ito. The next phase is also about normal attacking, plunge attack, it multiplies multiple times within two seconds. The character gain a stack of emergency. The stack can trick every zero point seconds. The the cleared when character goes down, leave the field. Okay, tell, tell me what it does. So there's 15 stacks of this emergency stacks. And the stacks release a shock wave that deals true damage. And the shock when the shock wave is relieved, released, our characters will deal 25% more bonus damage. So again, notice how they are buffing the normal attack characters like Xiao and also those that want to deal normal attack. And this also goes with Ito and any characters that want to right click. The Luke also gets this one too. So if we keep going, uh, adjustments, characters, animals, nothing too special. Mm, keep going, hey, done, let's high on the event, adjustment, climbing rules, purchase, oh. Oh, can you? You're not able to climb reserves. Okay, nothing too special. I'm trying to read a little faster first, because usually there isn't anything major until the last stop point. <laughs> so we try to escape. We just come at difficulty of the world quest, and the last stop point is quite important. Virgin to perform. At the same time, we'll change applicating providers. Oh, they're changing providers. Oh, no, 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 maybe it's something to do with text. So this is a work of fiction. <laughs> so now the biggest highlight in this one is we can count the primal gems. So the biggest highlight is the secretary, which should give us four more wishes. And after the secretary, we can get the three free wishes over here as to intertwine fate, which we can loot for free in the game up to the 13th of February. And then again, this term of three wishes starting from the 25th of January. And finally, we can get three more wishes from the new character, which add up to 15 plus five wishes. That's not bad, right? 
As to the free promo gems, the 600 promo gems plus the hangout event plus our conquest, that's about 180. Plus that, we can go with maybe about 120 for the new world quest, about 100 for the commissions, maybe 100 for the achievements. So in all in all, maybe we're looking at about 1,000 promo gems upon releasing and if you do those special features. So hopefully you guys enjoy the summaries of these patch notes. Very excited for the new patch to come. And I'll try to live stream. Hopefully my voice is okay. And I'll see you guys next time on Genshin Impact. Now I do plan to make a guide on selecting four-star characters. And in that guide, we'll talk about comparing whether it's worth it to get a new character for three free wishes and try her out. Or if it's worth it to go for constellation of different characters. So hopefully to see you guys very soon. Take care, everyone. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips, and news and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with sketching and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.